Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. This series of videos is a scientific presentation about fetal sulfur sound. This is the 12th video, and this video series about fecund nuchal fold. What is the outline of this presentation? The first definition and clinical significance of fecund nuchal fold, the measurement technique, pitfalls in measurement, abnormal thickness of nuchal fold, rule of following serial sonograms, and final teaching points. The first one is definition and clinical significance. Nuchal fold thickness, which was first described by Bennecroft in 1985, is an established second trimester sonographic marker for Down syndrome. The excess skin in the fetal neck region, which is characteristic of down individuals, can be observed by ultrasound as either increased nuchal translucency in the first trimester or increased nuchal skin fold in second trimester. Although it initially was thought and seems logical that a second trimester thickened nuchal fold measurement results from a first trimester thickened nuchal translucency, these markers do not appear to be correlated and therefore can be used independently to assess the aneuploidy risk. What is the measurement technique for nuchal fold? The NF is typically measured between 15 and 21 weeks by obtaining a transverse plane of the fetal head at the level of biparietal diameter. The transducer is then angled caudally to include the cerebellum and occipital bone. The NF is measured by placing the calipers on the outer skull and outer skin edge. Is there any pitfalls in measurement of nuchal fold? Significant fetal neck extension or excessive abdominal pressure with the ultrasound probe may falsely increase this measurement. What is the abnormal thickness in nuchal fold measurement? Thresholds of 5 mm or greater and 6 mm or more have been proposed. However, 6 mm or greater seems to be the most accepted standard value to define abnormal. By using this threshold, positive likelihood ratios as high as 95 have been reported. However, more recent meta-analyses indicate a more modest association with likelihood ratios ranging between 11 and 17. Importantly, the false positive rate for this sonographic marker is exceedingly low, making this one of the most specific second trimester sonographic markers for Down syndrome. Nuchal fold thickness has been found to increase with advancing gestational age, leading many investigators to evaluate gestational age-specific nomograms to extend the utility of this measurement up to 24 weeks gestation. What is the rule of following serial sonograms? Alternatively, some fetuses with Down syndrome may experience complete resolution of the nuchal thickness as gestation advances, suggesting that following serial sonograms for resolution is unwarranted and may even provide false reassurance. Now, please pay attention to these final teaching points. According to exceedingly low false positive rate for thickened nuchal fold, making this sonographic marker one of the most specific second trimester sonographic markers for Down syndrome. Some fetuses with Down syndrome may experience complete resolution of local thickness as gestation advances, suggesting that following serial sonograms for resolution is unwarranted and may even provide false reassurance. 
According to this point, the best reliable time to measure a new cup fold is between 15 and 21 weeks of gestation and after 22 weeks it becomes less valuable. Now, I suggest two others of my videos that are close to this video in terms of matter. Thank you for your attention.